The 6000 rotor has been a staple for a long time in the irrigation world. It's a solid rotor that's easy to configure. In this video, we'll discuss a few of the features and we'll show you how to change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. The 6000 rotor has been around under a few different manufacturers. It's been sold as Nelson, Signature, and most recently Weathermatic, each time called the 6000 and currently known as the 6000E. It's a reliable solid rotor with a unique adjustment system. The cap comes off the top like this. Now there's a screw that comes with it that keeps the cap in place and prevents it from coming off and getting lost. Please do use the screw. Inside this mechanism right here is called a click set disc. This adjusts your pattern. The arc adjusts anywhere from 40 to 310 degrees, or you can turn it into a full 360 degree rotor. The pop-up height on this rotor is four inches and it has a three quarter inch inlet. The radius, that is the watering distance, is from 23 to 51 feet, depending on which nozzle you use and how the adjustment screw is set. The rotor comes with this set of nozzles. Looking at the top of the rotor, you access the radius adjustment screw by piercing the membrane right here. Not to be confused with this hole right here, which is used for the screw that holds the cover in place. This is the pull-up slot. Use this plastic part of the Weathermatic rotor tool like this. And this O-ring here is the check valve. Check valves prevent low head drainage. If there's a significant elevation difference within a zone, once the sprinkler shut off, the lowest heads often drain the water out of the piping within the zone, which results in puddling and erosion. If you want to add a check valve to your rotor, unscrew this collar, put the O-ring right here, and close up the rotor. Now you've got a check valve. Let's look at the 6000E out in the field. We'll start by changing out a nozzle. Insert the plastic end of the rotor tool in the pull-up slot, twist 90 degrees, and pull up. I'm using a hold-up tool, sometimes called a nozzle insertion collar, to make this easier. If you don't have a nozzle insertion collar, you can just hold the riser up with your hand. Back out the radius adjustment screw by using the metal portion of the rotor tool. Pull out the nozzle using a pair of needle nose pliers. Push in the new nozzle. The wings on this nozzle should be up. The nozzle goes in at a slight downward angle. If you find it difficult to get the nozzle all the way in, you can use part of the rotor tool to push it the rest of the way. Screw back down the raised adjustment screw. You want it to be threaded down far enough to break up the stream of water. You can adjust the watering distance with the same screw. To adjust the rotor's pattern, remove the cap. You adjust the pattern, that is, how far the rotor turns, by moving these little tabs on the click set disc. To change the rotor to 360 degree rotation, flip the disc over. You're going to love working with the 6000E. Buy yours today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.